Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you. So my lovelies it's just a quick announcement this week okay I'm doing very very short readings because my house is upside down because I'm decorating or I've got decorators in my eye. So very limited space house is upside down so I thought I'll just do my poetic words and pull an overall energy out for you this week and then I will not be back um, until the 11th of October the, re the reading start from the Monday the 11th but they'll go out sort of on the 9th and 10th Saturday, you know that, that weekend the 9th and 10th I will be releasing them so it's just to let you know that I'm having a week off because of all the things that are going on um, with the decorating and what have you so with that said and done let's get into the readings I'm now going to be reading for the lovely star sign of Libra and we always have to sing for Libra. So Libra, what have we got coming out in the cards for you this week? So Libra, there are only very short little messages, okay? But better to have short than none at all. So let's just shuffle the cards for your overall energy this week. What have we got for Libra? And we have Queen energy, run the world, believe, and you can do this. Yay, we like positivity. Queen energy, feeling like you have got your crown back on. Okay, you're feeling empowered, Libra. You feel like you could run the world to how you wish it to be, your own little world. There's a belief come back within you, as in, felt as though some of you had sort of lost trust and what have you but now things are sort of going on a different pace of yeah I can do this I do believe in myself and I can take charge of my own world and shape it to how I want it to be feeling a very regal energy around your Libra okay but most of all, those words are the most important. You can do this. So, let's have a look at your spiritual oracle message to go with that this week. What else have we got for Libra? And we have... It's your choice to make life easy or difficult. So choose to live with gratitude, loyalty and commitment. We have a beautiful butterfly in that card from Spirit saying transformation is taking place. And as it says, at the end of the day, it's your choice if you want to make life easy or hard, okay, or difficult in that sense. So choose to live with gratitude. Be grateful for what you do have be grateful that you can put food on the table we can all sit there and moan our backsides off and say oh i'm not happy about this i'm not happy about that and one thing or another we, we harness the negativity yeah and we do get bad days and good days but take gratitude that you can work through this you can push yourself through the the dark days the troubled days but just know that spirit of bringing this butterfly and there's transformation. There is a change in you anyway going on, I feel, for some of my Libras. So let's just get one animal spirit card out just to see what is coming out this week on that. And then I will pull out your poem. What I had for you this week. Well, it's lucky dip, so we'll see what comes out. But we've got the cosmic egg. Time for change. Time for the snake to shed its skin. It's the spiritual realms this card is. And you are trying to protect yourself from the outside elements that try and bring you down. But your aura is starting to shine again. Don't let others constrict you either. Leaves. Don't let others dull your shine. 
So, let's have a look at the Lucky Dip poems, what we've got for you this week. Got quite a few still in here, so let's ask Spirit to leap one out the box for you. What have we got for Libra? Please bring one out for Libra. Thank you. <laughs> so, what have we got for you, Libs? Oh, we have Pinocchio. Sick of the lies you have been told, so you are walking away from a situation you can no longer deal with, knowing it, it has had its day. A new adventure is about to come in, knocking at your door. A blonde-haired person tries to impress, but you've seen it all before, okay? So, for some of you then, Pinocchio is coming out for you in the fairy tale realms. And this sort of harness is on from when you were a child. As in, when you were small, you may have told quite a few lies to protect yourself when you were growing up. Okay, little white lies, uh, just to cover your own tracks, okay, or just to keep your parents from worrying about you, where they might say, have you got a lift home tonight? Yeah, yeah, I've got a lift, so-and-so is bringing me home. But you were just walking home, okay. So <laughs> I'm harnessing Pinocchio onto you as when you were a child growing up. But as an adult, then this is what you have been suffering growing up and going through your adult life. You've had people tell you lies, okay, lied through their back teeth to you. But you've sort of obviously, you know, found this out for yourself. And then it's saying someone, a blonde haired person, tries to impress on some of you this week. Not all of you, obviously, but I just feel there's something to do with a blonde-haired person. And it's like, you know what? I've seen it all before. Okay? I'm not going to be suckered into that again. Type of scenario. It could be a somebody who's trying to offer you an apology. Who's told you all these packs of lies. And it's like to say, you know what? I've, I've had too many apologies, too many sorries, too many promises. Nah, no, nah, it's gone. So, my lovely Librans, I hope you can take something from that very, very short read this week. Don't forget then, guys, um, I'm not going to be back until the week ending. It'll be the weekend of the 9th and the 10th, bringing out 11th of October reads. I'm going to drop the competition link uh, in the description box below. It's open to UK and international if you haven't seen it. It runs till the end of October, so please enter. You've only got to put where you are, UK or abroad. That's all you need to do, and I'll put you into that um, competition. So until next time, you take care of yourselves. Bye then.